Greetings everyone. Welcome back to Storytime Recaps. In this video, I'm going to recap one of the films from 2017. Get out. Before we start, I hope your day be filled with sunshine and smile. Enjoy the story. In the opening scene, a man walking alone is followed by a car. When in doubt, he avoids it. Suddenly, the kidnapper came out and kidnapped him and put him in the car. Uncertain of a warm reception, photographer Chris Washington reluctantly consents to meet Rose Armitage's family, his white girlfriend. Chris is not sure that they don't welcome him warmly, but Rose assures him that his family will love him. They hit a deer while driving to the family's estate in the country and report the incident. Rose steps in to stop the encounter from being documented when the white police officer asks for Chris's identification despite the fact that he was not driving. Chris meets Rose's parents, Dean, a neurosurgeon, and Missy, a hypnotherapist and a Rose brother Jeremy. At first, everyone tried to make Chris feel accepted. However, mistakes and chaos occur when Chris visits Rose's parents' house make uncomfortable remarks about black people at the house. Chris observes that the black employees at the estate exhibit strange levels of compliance. When they are engrossed in listening to the story of Chris's family's life, the unstable black housekeeper, Georgina, wanted to pour water into Chris's glass. Suddenly, he was lost in thought. Chris was puzzled by her character. Rose's mother told Georgina to rest, and with a smile she agreed. At night, Chris, unable to sleep, goes outside to smoke and discovers Walter, the groundskeeper, fleeing into the woods. Missy sees Chris back and offers therapy under the pretext of kicking Chris' smoking habit after cursing him earlier. Chris consoled her. The car accident in which Chris's biological mother died became the main topic of the session. Secretly, Missy hypnotizes Chris. Chris felt himself fall from the chair, paralyzed in the void that Missy called the hidden place. Chris wakes up the next morning, believing he had a bad dream but then realizes that Missy has hypnotized him into quitting smoking. Hundreds of well-to-do white people show up for the annual gathering of the Armitages. They show interest in Chris, praising his physique, or voicing their appreciation for other black celebrities like Tiger Woods. Chris meets Logan King, a married much older white woman's husband and a black man with strange behavior of his own. When Chris wanted to take his phone he realized that. Georgina, the black housekeeper, unplugs his phone, leaving it without power. When Rose came looking for him, Chris told Rose what happened, but Rose didn't believe him. Chris called his friend, a transportation security administration officer, about their unusual behavior and his hypnosis. Chris went down to meet Logan, but they were all waiting for him behind Rose's house. When Chris, secretly, he takes a photo of Logan, but the glare of his phone light causes Logan to nosebleed, become hysterical and in desperation. Logan yells get out and attacks Chris. Dean claims Logan is suffering from epileptic seizures. Feeling suspicious, Chris takes Rose out for a walk and as his suspicions grow, Chris persuades her to end their stay at Rose's parents' house. Meanwhile, Dean holds a mysterious auction elsewhere with a photo of Chris on display. After Chris emails Rod Logan's picture, Rod recognizes Logan as Andre, a missing person. Chris discovers pictures of Rose from her previous relationships with black people, such as Walter and Georgina, while she is packing to leave. Worried, Chris asks for the car keys, but Rose and the rest of her family stop Chris. Chris fights, but he can't because of the hypnosis from Missy. A strapped to a chair, Chris awakens. Rose's grandfather Roman is shown in a video presentation explaining how the family implants white people's brains into black bodies leaving the host's consciousness in the sunken place, where it watches helplessly. Sorry about Chris faced with the massive conspiracy, but not fully grasping it, Rod goes to the police, but is scorned. Blind art dealer Jim Hudson tells Chris he wants his body in order to become sightless and appreciates Chris's artistic abilities. Chris blocks the hypnotic commands by plugging his ears with stuffing taken out of the chair. Jeremy arrives to pick him up for surgery, and Chris bludgeons him, impales Dean with a whitetail deer mount's antlers, and stabs Missy. Chris hits Georgina after robbing a car and taking off. He carries Georgina into the car, recalling the death of his own mother, but she is taken over by Rose's grandmother Marianne. She attacks him, causing him to crash and kill her. Romans possessed Walter and Rose catch up with him. With his phone flash, Chris awakens the real Walter, who then takes Rose's rifle, shoots her, and ends his own life. 
Chris catches Rose in a chokehold but is unable to kill her. Rod pulls up in a TSA vehicle and he and Chris take off. 